The show Agatha All Along is taking some ideas from the comics. In some of the videos promoting the show, you can see seven people wearing hoods. This group of dark magicians seems to be threatening Agatha and her group of witches. However, you can't see their faces in the videos. This group is probably the Salem Seven, some of Agatha Harkness' most important enemies in the comics. They are closely related to her powerful son and her death. The Salem Seven will be different in the show because this is their first time appearing in a live-action MCU show. So who are these groups of magical beings? Salem Seven was a group of superhumans who had been magically altered, all sharing the same father, Nicholas Scratch, and residing in New Salem, Colorado. This town was home to people who practiced an ancient religion and had special occult abilities. To protect themselves from being persecuted as witches and warlocks, the community chose to live apart from the outside world. The most powerful sorceress in New Salem was Agatha Harkness, who served as the leader. Her only known child was the warlock Nicholas Scratch, which could be a name he took on. Scratch had several wives, and together they had many children, collectively known as Salem Seven. The identity of the wives of Nicholas Scratch has not been revealed yet in the MCU, so the mother of the Salem Seven remains a mystery. Like all the residents of New Salem, the members of Salem Seven appeared human and had typical human features. In their human forms, they had various magical abilities similar to those of other New Salem citizens. However, the members of Salem Seven could magically transform into unique, altered forms that granted them extraordinary superhuman powers. Agatha Harkness, the grandmother of Salem Seven, left her hometown of New Salem to live in a different place. She became a caretaker for Franklin Richards, the child of Reed and Susan Richards, who are superheroes known as the Fantastic Four. Scratch, a bad guy who hated Harkness, kidnapped her and Franklin. He wanted to kill Harkness because he thought she was a traitor, even though she had never done anything wrong. The Fantastic Four tried to save Harkness and Franklin, but were also captured. They managed to escape and had to fight Salem Seven, a group of powerful warriors who worked for Scratch. The Fantastic Four won the fight, found Harkness before she was killed, and made the people of New Salem turn against Scratch. They then used magic to send Scratch away to a different world. After a while, Salem Seven went to New York City and tried to bring Scratch back to Earth. Agatha Harkness, using her magic powers, took away Salem Seven's ability to change into their magical forms and sent them back to New Salem. She also used magic to keep Scratch trapped in the place he had been sent to. Over many years, Salem Seven used their magic to turn the spells Harkness had used against them back on her. This made Salem Seven strong again, and Harkness became very weak. Salem Seven made the people of New Salem hate Harkness, and they became the most powerful magicians in the community. Vertigo, the oldest of Harkness's granddaughters and the leader of the Seven, became the queen of New Salem. Salem Seven caught the weak Harkness and killed her by burning her at the stake. Subscribe to this channel if you are enjoying this video for more content. It seemed like Harkness's spirit influenced her student, the Scarlet Witch, to go to New Salem. She went with her husband, the Vision. They were both captured by six members of Salem's Seven. The seventh member, Gazelle, did not agree with the other's plan to trap the Scarlet Witch. As a punishment, Gazelle was going to be killed as a sacrifice. Vertigo asked the Scarlet Witch to join their group, but the Scarlet Witch said no. So Vertigo planned to kill her, Gazelle, and the Vision as sacrifices. The next morning, the Vision broke free and fought Vertigo, who had all the magic power of all 665 people in New Salem. The Vision won, and Vertigo lost control of the community's magic. This was dangerous and could have killed everyone in New Salem. 
The Scarlet Witch used a lot of this magic to blow up a mountain, which killed Salem Seven and everyone else in New Salem. But the Vision and the Scarlet Witch survived. Later, the Spirit of Thorn, who was dead, captured the Scarlet Witch and took her to a magical place ruled by a powerful being called Samhain. There, she met the spirits of the rest of Salem Seven, except for Gazelle. They all wanted to get revenge on her, returned to Earth, and were now working with Samhain. The Scarlet Witch also found Harkness's spirit, which was trapped on a magical stake. But Harkness had talked to the Vision with magic, telling him how to fight Samhain by destroying a book of magic. By doing this, the Vision made it impossible for Samhain to look like a human. Harkness couldn't defeat Samhain while he was human, but now she was free from the stake and used her magic to trap the being inside the spirits of his friends, the six members of Salem's Seven, who weren't Gazelle. Harkness's spirit went free and the Scarlet Witch went back to Earth. The spirit of one of the Seven, Vakumi, helped Siobhan Haldane fight Mystek. The Seven were later brought back to Earth by Nicholas Scratch. They stopped being evil and became friends of the Fantastic Four. They recently helped the New Warriors fight the High Evolutionary. The Salem Seven in the MCU are very different from the Marvel Comics teams. Instead of being strong, muscular villains who can change into monsters, the Salem Seven in Agatha All Along are a group of female sorceresses who can turn into real animals. Okuyokpokwasili's character can change into a cicada, Marina Mazeppa's into a snake, Bethany Curry's into a crow, Athena Paramples into a fox, Britta Grant's into a rat, Alicia Vela Bailey's into an owl, and Chow Namova's into a coyote. It's interesting that all members of the Salem Seven are called by their animal names in the credits of Agatha all along, except for one. Vertigo is different in the comics. She has the power to make people feel very sick. Whether we'll see this power in the MCU is still unknown. The Salem Seven are very powerful, even more than their ability to change into animals. Agatha and her witches are all afraid of them. Rio Vidal even warns Agatha about them, and he sounds scared. In the comics, they have different powers, but in the MCU, they use more common and less interesting magic. They attack Agatha's house with magic and are more like the Nazgul from The Lord of the Rings than other magic users in the MCU. It's not clear who they work for, but it's probably not Nicholas Scratch. He's not as evil in this universe as he is in the comics. Mephisto is always a possibility, but Agatha's crime might be connected to her stealing the Darkhold. This suggests that the Salem Seven could follow Chithon. Their mission in Agatha all along is to get revenge, which fits. Their name suggests that the magical community of New Salem from Marvel Comics might also exist in the MCU. Thank you for watching. Do leave your comments in the comments section and check out other videos on this channel.